I'm Jimmy Lewis. I'm the co-director of the King of the Motos event and basically it's always been a dream of mine since riding extreme enduros all over the world to bring a real high quality motorcycle race like that to the U.S. and I actually stumbled upon King of the, uh, King of the Hammers when I was riding my dirt bike across the desert. I said what is going on down there and I saw it. They have the we call it Burning Man for the gearheads out here already and I wanted to bring motorcycles in and uh, luckily from having a lot of experience riding some of the other you know the other hard enduros you call them um, I knew what it would take to put it on luckily this is also the perfect area to do it in the United States because we have such a you know a vast desert out here with extremely technical rocks and um, it's got it's got stuff that's faster than Baja faster than Dakar and it's got stuff rocks that'll you know like, they're not as slippery as the one in Erzberg, but we got way more of them. It's, it's similar. Every every you know gnarly race has its has its own thing. And basically, what we called this one was a motorcycle survival race. And it kind of turned out to be that. In fact, I think I made it a little bit too easy. Which um, you know, looking back, I'm sure that the 15 guys that didn't finish wouldn't agree with me. But it's 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 kind of everyone has their own flavor and stuff. We have the desert, so it's a little bit different. Our rocks are a little stickier, but we have you know they're harder to get up and and they provide for good racing. We kind of introduced the GPS navigation into the mix, which is very uncommon for the American rider. They're used to chasing ribbon after ribbon, so now they had to look down and do their navigation and really watch out for themselves because you've got you know danger and, and it goes from high speed to extremely slow speed. So there's a real wide variety of, um, of elements to deal with for the riders. seems that they, they had a good time. You never know at the finish because a little tired and of course the guy that got second place was pissed off. You know, Graham Jarvis is a kid from England. Came over, has no desert riding experience and you know just slowly worked his way up and, and was you know steady and meticulous and ran through it and Kyle Redman was he was actually sort of following everybody most of the day and looked like he was just waiting to, to poise and strike at the end and had a couple little problems. Um, you know, Cody Webb led for a little while and had a problem, broke his bike. And so we had a lot of guys breaking bikes. Luckily, we didn't have too many guys getting hurt. Um, in fact, I think everybody walked away from the event, which is awesome. And, uh, but it's, uh, you know, and that was part of the strategy of our race plan. It's like, show up with your bike and three gas cans and you're as good as anybody else. There was no outside assistance, you know, no help from spectators. So if you're fit and you got a good bike, you're as good as anybody else. I think everybody mixed it up pretty good and, and, and everybody seemed like they had a good time and I'm sure Graham was pretty happy with 10 grand.